Me plow. <laughs> hey everybody. We're going metal detecting. You got another coin. Oh my god, that's pewter! Look at the fancy! Today's the start of a brand new day. We love that. And a package has arrived from Big Al Manual. And you see who's on the package here? That's like the kiss of doom. When a package shows up and there's a picture of you on it, what's that mean, Jen? Cursed. Suspension. Suspension. Big Al. Right. Big Al's fault. Because Wayne's lately has been saying, I don't even need my own suspension box. The more boxes go up, the more stuff I find. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's been bragging that he doesn't have a box, but he's digging all this other stuff that people have boxes of. So, gonna get everybody together, go out digging for the day, and when we come back. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hit him with the box. Hit him good. Right. So, stay tuned. Oh, they're waiting for you. Sorry. Oh. He, he was unaware the video had started. Anyways, here we are. We're on ground. Sorry, Wayne, I'm blocking you. Okay. Um, we're going to head into the woods, going looking for a particular cellar hole. And uh, I think, as usual, we will have good luck finding it. Yes, we will. Oh, yeah. All right. I think he's got a horse fly. Everyone horse agrees, fly. so. Old cell. Thank you. All right, let's hit the woods. See, so what we're looking for is to hopefully find the old road that's basically been choked off and disconnected from, you know, the other current roads. That's the whole key to this. Just finding them sometimes is not easy. Well, we're inside the corner of a square. Well, it's an awful level spot up there. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I saw that little lip of rocks. Yeah, it's the it's the classic smaller hole, whether it was the well next to the footprint, but this thing is it's probably been washing away off the hill. But at least we found it. Oh nice. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Gear up time. Shallow bean pot. Okay. Wayno's got a culture too. Yep. Some type of hanging thing. Now if you look at it on the other side, it's got the same hole too. Oh yeah. I don't know if it was necklace or just a weight for something. It is kind of heavy. It is lead. Huh. Definitely interesting. Alright, that's good. Targets within seconds. Yeah, literally under the leaves. Oh, I circled the hole once and... Yep. That beauty. Oh man, spoon handle. Look at it's shiny under all that dirt. Nice. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Looks like maybe a baby spoon. Yeah, it is baby tiger. Maybe I get lucky and find the bowl to it. Oh, well, that was quick and easy. Oh. Yeah, I think it's firearms related. We got two little posts there it's curved yeah you might be right because uh, that is about the right convexity for a large caliber long gun wow yeah very good day yeah starting the day right there you go beauty That's so you've one. already extracted a, a button Yep, and it's literally just a less than a stone's throw from oh, my last target. Tom back, and you're swinging over something ticklish? Yeah, right here. That's the way I can try to take it out without hurting it. Whatever it is. Oh, 
Oh! Wow! Look at wow. that baby! Oh my god, that's pewter! It Look is. at the fancy! Holy wow. crap! I thought that was going to be a coin, but you know what? I'm still just as happy. Oh, oh yeah. I'd take that over Larson any day. Wipe the backside of that bowl Holy for a second. Holy crap, right Wainos, that thing is sick. If I had used the shovel to take that spoon out, I would have chopped it right in half. That's why, regardless of hard or soft ground, why you need a field tool. You yeah. just can't put a price on that. Yep. That spoon would have been destroyed and it had excellent fancy on it. That would have ruined a perfectly good relic. It's gorgeous. I know. All right. I love it. Oh, wow. That is a fancy button. And it was no more than an inch in the ground because I'm working on the top of all the stone here. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, i never seen one like that before. Oh, sir. Oh, and it's, uh, each one of the little loops is hollow. Oh, cool. There's just dirt in there. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you. Is this what I think it is? Yep. Yep. Is it for really? sure. Yep. It's a shoe buckle frame. I couldn't find any more of it. That had some serious fancy at one point. We're finding some findings. Right, and they're not deep. No, no, it's just because the amazing. wash away, I think. Yeah, it actually worked out in our favor. That was close. Let's try that again. Did a full on somersault with the camera. Oh, no. I came to come down here in the dig out caught a branch which caught the camera. Anyways. 47, 48. Wow, tiny sleeve button. Not deep by any means. Nice. Full shank. Was that under that rock? Yeah. Wow. It was like right in between them. Yep. And it was only a few inches down, but in order to get it, I had to move the rock. Otherwise, I would have just beat up whatever was in there. All right. Nice. Very good. Well, so far, so good. This is interesting. Another match to the last button. Very small. And it's kind of like Ebenezer's site, if all of you remember. There was a dig out like this in front of the cellar hole where Dane was digging all kinds of small buttons. He referred to it as the roughed grouse belly zone. Yeah. It's just too close to be a privy, but interesting nevertheless. All right, let's check in with Wainos. All right, so this is interesting. So I told you it was a 65, right? Yeah. And you can see I started to cut the plug here. I went to force the shovel under here, and I looked on the surface. Oh, damn, we got a thimble. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Not even a, a mark on it. Wow. Very good. Oh yeah. That's gonna clean up nice. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. What's he hunting about? You hunting? I wanted to make the observation of in, I don't know, 600 videos that I've made, how many times I've heard, I don't know what it is, but I like it. <laughs> that's basically what you were saying, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I agree. It's fancy. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I like it. It's pewter. Wow, that is very cool. Mm. It's fragmentary, but I sure do like it. Wow. Now that is a chunk of iron that I've never seen the likes of before. I wonder if that's the side of a cast iron pot, and that's the leg. Wow, that's something. Oh yeah, that is small. Pick it up so they can see. Alright. Yep, it's got a shank on it too. Oh, I think that is a I little... That one for you, Wayne. I think that is a little bit smaller than the one I dug. Really? Nice. Good isolation. Yeah. Wow. You're right, Wayne. What? Everything's on the surface here. Yeah. Alright, so I've moved up to the iron bed. Give you guys, uh... Five seconds, play the guessing game. Identify what that is a piece of. 
If you said the parts from a shoe buckle, you are correct. Not sure if that's the tongue or chafe side, but that's what that is. So you've got a lower 70 signal? Yeah, it's ringing up sort of like a Lincoln. But I'd be surprised to see it up Memorial out here. Not that it hasn't happened before. Right. But it's that lower 70s with a chirp at the end. You got the denial route? Yep. <laughs> denial route. I love that. <laughs> Never fails, man. Right. You can dig a perfect circle anywhere in New Hampshire and you're going to get that route that goes right across it. Oh, yeah. There could be no trees and you still get one. Huh. Oh. Oh, oh. That's a coin. Hey, oh. Digger Dame done did good. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's going to take some loving. All right. Yeah. We'll so, catch back up with you on the coin. I'm to grope that one for a while. Nice. Yes, very good. Ah. Nice, nice dig, dude. All right. It sounded like a 22 casing, but that's another one of those itty bitty buttons. Yay. So there we go, once again. Off the front side of the hole, the cellar hole that is, another little itty bitty button. Oh, beautiful. Well, I got lucky in between the rocks. Tom back. Wipe it off. Instant clean relic. Yeah. Beautiful. So this was 70 to 80 and super weak. No way. Yeah way. You got another coin. No way. Way. Nice. Well, there's no doubt in saying that this is the strong side of the site. This is right in line with uh, the other one. Wow. Right from the house. Oh, Massachusetts. No, sir. Come on. That's a. That's an. That's that's a. Let me see. Yeah. Well, that, that's the lady on the back. Oh, I thought it was a dude with a... No, it's the cattle prod. Okay, I thought it was a dude with a bow. I think you got a KG2. Yeah. I mean, it could be a Connecticut, too. But initially looking at it... Hello? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man. Number two. I got a part of uh, Wainos' shoe buckle frame. Nice. <laughs> I got the other side, same same thing where the pin went in. Oh, really? Yep. Wow, so they're about 20 feet away from each other so far. Beautiful. All right, everybody, so here's what we're going to do. We've had a great dig here, awesome spot. But as we're talking, and we're calling this guy the fool on the hill, because he's literally on the side of the hill, we're going to go to a site we haven't been to in a year and a half. Mm -hmm which is where the guy lived in the swamp. So we're gonna go down off this hill into the swamp and hopefully we can navigate our way there and it's due for a recap anyways. Yeah, and, it, and we've never approached from this direction, so it'll be fun. Yeah, because this is the broken chunk of road mm -hmm. which detached this from him, so. All right, let's do it. We're here? Yeah, I'm gonna swing a little bit to recap, so. Who knows, we've already had a great day. This is just the bonus round. Yep. All right, looks like I extracted a tool. A wedge of sorts. And interestingly enough, inside the house in the chimney stack. Wow, well this place is tough. You can see through the years how much water has come through here and eroded the land with the exception of the where the cellar hole was it is a lip there's iron there quiet everywhere else but we have to go and check to see what dame's coins are but we also have to deal wainos his suspension box he still has no idea so we're probably gonna wrap it up hit the road and get back to the shack in a snap back all right so we've had some time to look over your coin finds yes all right so we're gonna find out what it's all about all right so this one 
no date legible, but it is a Connecticut copper. The lady on the back, definitely holding a stick of carrots and then something else. The cattle prod. Yep, and uh, we can just make out uh, Tory on uh, on the obverse there by his by his face, right off his nose there. Um, this one, <clears throat> no identification. Slightly smaller. Uh, tried to get some of the gunk off. No go. I'm happy. Yeah, two copper day and a state coin to boot. Yes. So, awesome. Historicalness. Yes. Well, that's not me. Well. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-oh. <laughs> Might as well be prepared. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, he must have heard me. <laughs> he did. Oh. Big Al is always listening. He is. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a nice one. It's a different design. Uh -huh. Yep. Buenos, do not open until you find a Spanish real. Big Al. Welcome to the club, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> That's going to kill my streak because everyone else had boxes. I was finding all this stuff. Yeah, well, you opened your mouth a bit yep. too much. Yep, I guess so. What's on the back of the card? I didn't see what was on the back of the card. <laughs> oh no, I can see it in the reflection now. Nice, you got your own tag row over oh, there. Man. <laughs> man. <laughs> I swear he sent this months before the boxes started showing up. <laughs> he planned it all. He's, been a He's like an evil genius. Well, that's seven. Yep. Well, everybody, we thank you all for watching. Big Al, we thank you for contributing to making the Continuum a crazy and awesome place. Right. Buenos, <laughs> welcome to the club, buddy. Right. I have officially joined the club. Thanks, Al. <laughs> now, it's a challenge. I know. Your white whale's the same as mine. Remember, we get that ongoing thing. Whoever finds it first, the other one gets to punch him in the mouth, right? I'll punch myself in the mouth. <laughs> I probably would too. All right, let's get out of here. We'll see you all soon. Till next time, stay young and always keep them guessing. Dig what you love and love what you dig. Have as many adventures as you can, people. And live free or die. And if you're anywhere near Big Al, manual. Yeah. <laughs>